guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited for this video because I'm partnering with Maybelline New York to show you guys the new eyebrow products they're coming out with. They came out with three products. This is the first one. It is the Maybelline New York Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer, which I am so obsessed with because you guys know I love my eyebrows to be quick and natural. And the second product they came out with is the Maybelline New York Brow Drama Shaping Chalk Powder and then the Brow Precise Micro Crayon. But to get into the tutorial, I wanted to do a back to school makeup look, which really just focused on brightening your skin and also awesome brows. I wanted this to be quick and easy and one that really anyone could do before school. Obviously you would have to wake up a little bit earlier to do it, but if you guys are into it, that is definitely for you. The first thing I used was from Smashbox and it was called the Primerizer, which is like a primer and moisturizer mixed together, which I think is an awesome idea. Because especially if we're running to school, sometimes it's easier just to have something that's two-in-one, like two-in-one shampoo, you know? It just makes life a little bit easier. And then I'm going to be using from IT Cosmetics. It's like a CC cream, kind of. It's basically foundation with sunscreen and just all these amazing things in it. And I actually really liked it. It had a decent coverage, which is nice, and it didn't look cakey at all. So next thing I'm going to be using is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is my holy grail concealer and it's funny because the first time I used this, I think it was in my baddie tutorial, I was saying that I didn't really like it and look at this a year later and it's the only thing I use. So if you guys haven't tried it, give it a chance because you may just be like me and you might need to, you know, try it out a couple times and find out that you love it. And I'm using that with a beauty blender. Um, you can definitely use your fingers. I feel like using your fingers for your concealer and foundation definitely give you a more natural look, which might be what you want for school. Um, but I just find beauty blenders give like the most flawless look. So, and without it looking cakey. So you could pick one or the other, whichever you guys want to do. Okay, so this product I started using a lot more when I was in Greece because I really wanted to tan my skin because I needed my face to catch up to my body tan, basically. Um, and I honestly fell completely in love with it. I used it in a tutorial before and I did really like it, but I didn't really give it a fair chance until I was in Greece. Um, still opinion stays the same. It blends out like a freaking dream and it's just a really nice color. It's not too orange, not too brown. Like it doesn't look very dirty. Honestly, I'm feeling a little bit bittersweet about putting this in this tutorial just because it's not really realistic to have this bronzer and also the powder bronzer that I'm going to be setting it with. If I were you and if I was really in a rush, I would just be using the powder bronzer, but if there's some reason that you want to put even more effort into the day you're going to school, this is such a great product. I would definitely recommend it. And as always, I still today have not found a better setting powder than Laura Mercier. I don't really know what it is. It makes my under eyes look smooth and I don't crease all day. If you guys have found a cheaper one and a better one, that would be awesome because this thing is literally $50. It makes me cry every time I buy it, but I honestly don't think there's anything better than it. So if you guys want to, you could just set your face with a normal drugstore powder. I would just be worried about your under eyes. So if you could figure that out for cheaper, let me know. So this is a well-loved product, as you guys could see. It is the Cheek Parade from Benefit, but I'm just using the Hula Bronzer in it, um, and I'm bronzing my face. Once again, I just really like the color, and you guys know I use this bronzer all the time. Um, for school, I don't know. I just, I feel so tired in the morning and just pale that I feel like I have to bronze my face so I actually look like a human being in school and not some walking dead woman. So that's why I usually use a lot of bronzer for school. Uh, I do anyways regardless, but especially for school. From Painted Earth Cosmetics, I'm using the Rosemary and Thyme Baked Mineral Blush. I haven't used this blush actually in a super long time. I love pinky blushes. And what's awesome about this one is it has a lot of shimmer in it. I mean, that could be awesome or that could suck. It's totally up to you guys what you prefer. Then this is the Maybelline New York Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. I have showed you guys this on my Instagram. It is so insane. I don't even know how they got that much pigment in there, but you guys should definitely try that one out um, if you guys want a bomb-ass highlighter. I almost think it might be better than Becca. Dare I say it. 
And I'm also going to be using that as an eyeshadow just because for school, if I do wear eyeshadow, I want it to be really, really quick and easy. And it just happens that I love shimmer for my eyes. So I'm putting in the inner corners of my eyes and also just taking that on my lid. I'm just doing a quick swash of it on my lid. Nothing too, too crazy. I'm not going to put anything in my crease. I just wanted a little bedazzle, which, you know, you definitely don't need to school on for school. I'm just a little bit extra. So this is the Maybelline New York Brow Precise Fiber Volumizing Product. I am just using this for my brows because I always do this for school. I usually take a fiber volumizing product for the brows and I just brush it through and it is crazy what it does to your eyebrows. Like it's just a before and after and it goes from super skinny eyebrows to these thick voluminous natural looking brows in seconds and it just looks like you naturally have awesome brows which is just not in my case. But other than that, I think it's a super awesome product that is super easy for school time. And this is what the brush looks like, which I've never seen a brow volumizing product like this, where it's just on one side and it has just like a bunch of little spikes out. Um, but yeah, and now I'll just do the other eyebrow. So next I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes. I think this eyelash curler is from Revlon. I personally like to curl my eyelashes a lot, kind of like 90 degree angle a lot, just because I like them to be really curly. My eyelashes stick out pretty straight, which kind of sucks, but this is the difference that curling can do for your lashes. Unfortunately, I do have a patch in the middle of my eyelashes because they ripped out, which is just so unfortunate. But this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. What else would I use? Probably nothing unless it was waterproof. I just have such a problem with non-waterproof mascaras, aka just like any normal mascara, just because since I do have to curl my eyelashes so much, since they are water-based, they don't hold my lashes. Oil-based ones hold your lashes, which is important for me for a full day for school because I'm not gonna be able to go home and recurl my lashes. This is Max Spice Lip Liner, which once again, Kind of unnecessary for school, but I just find, I don't know, my lips look weird without lining them once I'm so used to lining them. So I just line them a bit, nothing too, too crazy. I mean, it is school that we're going to. And usually my lipstick rubs off by the end of the day anyways. And I'm next going to be using this YSL Tint in Bond Dream Me New. That is the shade and I love this because it's basically a lip moisturizer and a lipstick in one and it's just super easy to apply. And that's my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in my next video.